again before someone else is taken. The way they look at him, do they know? Brenda and Mark will decide if they now might marry. If the lawyers tell him that his Uncle Callahan left a sizable estate. Two long years must pass before he finishes his residency. Two years of waiting for Brenda. Uncle Callahan is dead. It was called a terrible accident. There was a closed coffin. Only his clothing identified him. Pizza, they inhale it. Everybody's here now, so come on, gather around. I got something to tell you. First, the good part. The inheritance. Hey, what about it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Hold it down, hold it down. My uncle Callahan left me his ranch. The ranch. Now the bad part. Oh. <laughs> There's a codicil 
What's a codicil? <laughs> it's a condition. I got a condition. <laughs> the condition is that I've got to make the ranch pay off and show a good profit within six months or it's not going to become mine legally. Uh, what do you want from us? No. Come on. Uh, so would you all like to go out and see it tomorrow morning? Yeah. 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 If you can dig it, why don't we all meet here around 11 o'clock in the morning, we'll split, and we'll all go out and take a look at it together. Right on, right on. Now let's go on with the party. Yeah, let's Come on. It is like living in the silence between the ticks of a clock for Mark to see all of this again. Remember childhood? innocence and freedom, remember it, for it is gone now. If he fails to make the ranch pay, it goes to the caretaker, Solomon, who lives on the land. He is part of the land, part of everything that happens. Solomon is always here. Yes, you might well say, ghost town. But even the spirits have left it to the wind and the rain and the dust. Is there time to even try for repairs? A Saturday and a holiday. A few tourists. But even the curious arrive only rarely. Jim, the justice of the peace, still narrates the Saturday afternoon shows. People have forgotten the murder. That was 1928. A distant eternity for the memory. Oh, wow. Look at the size of that guy. Too much. He must weigh 350 or something like that. Oh. You know, I don't know how in the hell we're going to make a go of this place. Huh? Look at all this property. Well, I'm sure we can get some revenue or some business from it just by leaving it the way it is. Callahan had a hard enough time making taxes meet on this train. Well, but you know how he is. He had a terrible time with business and stuff. The boys are the sons of the first men who staged the gunfights here. That was before it happened. I don't know, baby. I don't know. There's a lot of problems here. Well, if we can't think of anything, maybe we should ask the other kids. Maybe they can think of something. Okay. After the show, then we'll all get together this evening and talk about it. Maybe somebody will come up with it. Before Uncle Callahan, before Mark, it's all beginning again. Oh. Is that a blast? Do you think these stunt guys would work here for a little, you know, cheaper price? I know Uncle's giving you, you know, a few dollars every day, but... No, you can't get that. Hi there. My name is Mark. I'm the new proprietor here. Howdy, Mr. Mark. My name's Sandy Ray. Hi, Sandy. Sandy, this is my fiance, Brenda. Hey, that was some show you guys put on. Yeah, we like working here on weekends. Hey, well, look, just because I'm taking over the place, there's no time you have to stop doing your show. That's not the main thing. We, not, we need to keep in shape here. Well, I can't pay you too much, but I'll do the best I can. Yeah, but I help you get started. Hey, I'd really appreciate it, Sandy. Hey, why don't you come over and I'll introduce you to the rest of the gang. Ruby, come on, honey. Hey, hold it down, guys. Huh? Say hi to Sandy. He's going to give us a hand around here. Oh, hi, hi. 
Check out this hobo jungle and see if there's anything worthwhile. Enjoy the sunshine. Relax. Wander about. Soon it will be night. There will be a moon. A special moon. You know, we were planning on it, but now that the inheritance is, is just this and no money, I, I don't know what we're going to do. It'll probably take about six months, if not longer. Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. I know what I'll do. I'll speak to the gods for you. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? Huh. Yes, I often speak to the gods for my friends. Well, does it work? Of course it does. I'm part Indian, you know. Oh, well, then it's got to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, let's go get something to eat. Okay. Come on. Hello, Mike. 
<laughs> Hi, Beck. Hi, Earl. Hi, Neil. Where have you been? Oh, up in the mountains. It's really beautiful. There's some nice caves and stuff. Yeah, there. we went inside, you know, and hiked yeah, all around. Yeah, I just poke around inside and they got this far out stage and auditorium in there. Oh, well, wow. I'll wait until Grace and Alice Enterprises hear about that. Really? <laughs> really? Oh, Wallace, hey, see you guys. Sit down. Just a second. Wow. Jimmy, come here. Good. They got an idea. Uh, Wallace, Alice, 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 Grace and Alice Enterprise present A Hard Day at Work. Oh, this is really a drag. Every day, the same stuff. Same day. Every day. It's a bummer, man. It really brings me down. Well, I hate truth in junior high school. These girls are really pretty. This girl. Oh, I saw Roger. Roger? Yeah. Oh, boy. That's what I got. <laughs> I, know, what I, got. I know, I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. He's got, he's got this, um, this new stuff, man. It's from, uh... Really? I only got a road stuff. Oh. This is, this is from, like, South America or something like that. Cool. It's really far up. Pop. No, you got a match? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Watch you driving, man. Be careful. Yeah. Be safe. Don't get paranoid here. I'm not paranoid, man. I just don't want to get busted. Don't worry about it. Oh, wow. Hey, we're going to get really stoned. After that little thing? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Get kid. You got a clip? Uh, no, nah, man. I don't need one. I'm flying. That'd be cool. Watch you driving, man. Rookie. Do you uh, pass the joint, please? <laughs> wow. Did you see the ass on that one? Oh. Where did you get that stuff from? Some freak from South America. How did this? <laughs> I, I swear, it's just the, the whole drag is having to work and do this, you know. If I, I wouldn't have my turn yet. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm on. not trying to rip you off. Yeah. I'm a friend. No, far out. <laughs> Did you see that guy? God, he was speeding. Wow. Hey, uh, let's get that dude out. Okay. We don't need none of that stuff. Thank you, thank you. It was wonderful. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the fine opportunity to be here. But like, we found somebody better. Hopefully. No, no, not better. We found somebody just as good. The great Dallas Enterprise would like to introduce for your entertainment tonight, Lee. He's our wandering minstrel. Come on, Lee. And Lee. How'd you happen to write the song, Ray? Yes, uh, like when you're way out in the prairie, you know, and you're working cattle and all that. Right? That's what the song was about. Would you be great to hear it? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Callahan's old cronies, honey. They've been coming around here for years now. 
Why? What for? Well, they're the last of the old time cowpokes, honey. They've been meeting in this place for, Lord, I don't know how long now. But they collect these old relics, the horseshoes and the wagon wheels and stuff. You might say this place is, well, it's like a part of them. Washington Irving, you name it. 
Come on, what? It happened back in early 20s when someone put a real bullet in their gun. Oh, God. Oh, man. Hey, what do you guys think about moving out there? You know, no, I think it's great. great. I think right it's great on. for Mark yeah. for everyone. Oh, yeah. no, no, I'm wishing. No. I'm wishing. Well, honey, I hope we're not all just wishing. Oh, no. There's a lot here to work with, honey. We can do a lot with these plays. Yeah, I hope so. Let's go make sure all the gang is better done, okay? Hey, John. Yeah? I I'm sorry about earlier. Um, well, it's just that there you were, and there we were. And there she was, and, uh, I'm just sorry. What do you mean, sorry, man? She dug it. <laughs> Innocently, he chooses the silence of the moonlight. What is it? Look out! Watch! Look out! I can live with the snores. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Ha, oh, cut your soft shave, you know. No, the ketchup got out of hand at dinner. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, man eating tomatoes. Yeah, you gotta watch them. Which one of you guys is the flame? What? what? Uh, Look at this. Tell me what that is. Oh, the tie-dye. Look oh, at wow. it. Wow. Somebody threw some blood at me, and I want to know who did it. Come on, no, man. Come on, man. No, man. There was some guy outside running around on a horse. A horse. He almost ran me over, and he threw this all over me. <laughs> a horse, of course. <laughs> oh, wow. You guys don't believe me, do you? No, no. Where's Mark? I want to talk. Forget Mark. He's in love. Mm. You gotta watch this funny Mexican cigarette. There's probably some nut from around here overplaying a bad joke. Now, come on, let's get some sleep. It'll be a bright, beautiful day tomorrow. You set your blinking belt, Buckle Barney. I got a really nice place outside. I'm gonna sleep. And just in case um, any of you decide you're gonna snore. Snore? We got a buzz on back there. Thanks for warming the place for us. I tried to wash it out with water, but... Kit, it looks like blood stains. I don't know what it is. Some joker last night thought he'd do a shtick on the old man's story. Oh, the Tom all move. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll try and do something with it. Maybe pre-soak? Gee, thanks. Okay. Hey, Red, anyway, come on. Okay, Don. Let's go with the Wild West bit, huh? Okay, let me get a shirt. All right.
Why don't you guys look draw a contest? On three, okay? One. Two. Three. <laughs> Someday you might be the good. Mm-hmm. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> but remember, don't ever point a gun towards your stomach or towards a man. Point it to your right or the left. Right. What about the blanks? Can they hurt somebody? They can put somebody's eyes out the water. You can. Oh, wow. give you powder burns with black powder. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You think you're pretty quick, don't you, Sandy? That's right. I think I can beat you. Come on. Okay. Give me your gun, Tom. Somebody count. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, look at that. Natural born oh, wow. ham. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's not kidding. Something's wrong. Another one all ripped up. Look, just remember this. It's all right to rip up your arm, but don't mess up your clothes, man. Hey, look, when you have time, you better get a sling for that arm. Oh, yeah. well, just for a couple of days until I have time to check it again. Okay. Oh, wow. I just thought about something. I've got to make a report on this. You can't do that. Look, it's the law. You've got to make a report on any gunshot wound, no matter how you get it. Mark. The kids, everybody, they put their hearts into this thing for you. They're raring to go. I mean, it's a place to live. Well, what does that have to do about filing a report? Plenty. What if the papers get the story? <laughs> well, that's what everybody's been complaining about around here. They want more publicity. That kind of publicity we can do without. Why? What do you mean, why? A real bullet gets put in one of the guns and is fired? Would you bring your wife and kids to a place that let that happen? you got a point there. You can't file the report. But it's the law. I've got to file a report about any gunshot wounds. Okay. It wasn't a gunshot. Well, what was it? A low-flying jet or something? Look, Sandy told us you should always aim to miss. The wad from the blank fired out of the cartridge. That's what it was. That's what I got. Is that right? You can't file the report. You can't do it. Well, if, if everybody plays it cool and goes along with it, yeah, yeah, okay, it was an accident. Accident. I don't know, man. That old man, that spooky story last night, and that nut running around. How is he? I don't know. He, he looks all right. He's sitting up. Oh, well, after that, after that story last night, and then Randy actually believing it. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let's not get everybody all shook up over some silly superstition. <laughs> Who loaded the gun? Let's ask Mark. Hey, he's coming now. Yeah, it's gonna be all right. It was just a slight accident. Accident. Well, how did the real bullet get in the gun anyway? I don't know, man. It was in the storeroom with the rest of them. Hey, I saw the old man hanging around there. Solomon? Yeah. Bob, let's go have a talk with Solomon. Yeah, let's go do that little thing. That's a little more Wild West than I bargained for. <laughs> no kidding. Hey, Solomon. You want 
talk to you. What about? Someone put a live shell in one of the guns. You wouldn't know anything about that now, would you? Well, just like I was in that story of yours. Come on, you old creep. Somebody could have been killed and it could have been my brother or me. Today was the first day. The Tom Old Moon. You don't start that superstition stuff again. Tomorrow. And tomorrow is the second day. Come on, this guy's nuts. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead and play your games and prance and strut for your tourist. The curious no longer come to see Solomon's land. Solomon, who is part of everything, remembers. But the curious have forgotten. Hey, everybody! There's, there's tourists! Rich tourists! Wow! Wow! Hey! Hey, everybody! Our recreational facilities are at your disposal, madam. Please pleasure yourself accordingly. What a lovely, lovely place you have. It seems so relaxing and so... It's just so beautiful. It, it looks like paradise, doesn't it? Yes, it's very nice here. Yeah. You're too kind. Would you care to tour our facility? Yes, I would love to see every inch of it. Come, please. What a sweet, adorable place. It's very magical. Have you any lucky animals? Not to my knowledge. However, it is said that those who pass through these portals return with greater fortune. May I look around? Please do. Klondark pioneers would have been very happy if it were. Come here. I, I love your property and I would like to buy it. Well, I, I really haven't thought about selling it. Well, just name the price. Any price. Well, it's not exactly a question of money. You see, my uncle left this place to me in his will on the stipulation that I proved to the executors of the estate that I can make it a paying proposition within six months. Uh, you mean you don't own it? Well, not exactly. <coughs> what is that? that? That's Solomon. He's our night nice caretaker. He's all right. Oh. Darling, I think we should go to the Come back and see it, Sharon. She's too much. She's quite a character, isn't she? Mm. Takes all kinds, of. She is the richest burlesque queen in the world. <laughs> you know she is. Hmm? You read about her all the time. She's worth millions. Are you serious? You know, that's what I was thinking. 
We've really placed our bets, haven't we? How do you mean, honey? Well, maybe she could have advanced us enough to satisfy the lawyers. We could have sold the place to her. No. No, I couldn't do that. Well, we had our chance and we blew it. We made our bed, so I guess we'll have to... Uh, yes, dear, you were saying? <laughs> oh, great. One tourist all day, and she doesn't want to stay for the show. Lord love a duck, what a beginning. Well, if I may be so bold, my comrades, I happen to know of a quaint little pub located not far down the road where we may unpark our thirst. Yeah, I'll drink to that. Maybe we can bring somebody back to watch. Oh, the hold it, loves. If we go, we'll leave the place deserted. Now, come on. Look about you, pumpkin. The place is deserted. Mominos. Wait for me.
Hey, Mark. Hey, come in there, will you? Yeah, John. Hey, listen, uh, I came in for some bread, man, and I think I can take this dog off your hands, baby. I mean, after all, what's a doctor want with a junk place like this, man? Hey, John, I don't even own it yet. Listen, man, I can get some bread and take this right off your hands, and you can go on with your... What's that, man? Look, I got six months to go before this is legally mine. Why don't you talk to me about it then, John? Really, I'm busy right now. Hey, listen, Mark. to reach her. He ran through darkness and the special moonlight. It was all happening again. Where's Mark? He probably could have saved her. It wouldn't have done any good. She was smashed up bad. Now something really scared her. She was running around like she was crazy. She had blood smeared all over her face. And then she just ran around in front of the truck. I couldn't stop her. Blood all over. Same thing happened to Randy. Looks like murder. I still think that old man is up to something. All right now, is everybody here? Where's John? He's all right. He's with Lydia. They'll be here in a minute. Okay, now listen up again. I've got to go downtown and file a report on this. I want you all to stay here and stay close together. Don't go out wandering around outside anywhere. You got it? I'll be back as soon as I can. Mark, let me go with you. No, honey, you stay here, please. Watch every 
everyone, Mark. Everyone. You must watch everyone. For it is beginning again. As he did to save her life, he could only fail. She spoke of strange things, of visions and horrors she had seen, but they thought them only nightmares. Now she sleeps forever.
see him, Sandy. Hmm? Watch him sway and play in the trees. Shooting each other with their toy pistols. Bleeding toy blood. While the moon stays up, they keep running around. Having fun. Pretty soon, there won't even be nobody left. Won't even be nobody to say bang, bang. You're dead. <laughs> Boy, sure isn't any game anymore. <laughs> Look at the old geezer just sitting up there glaring at us, Dan. I think he wants to get rid of us. Yeah, it's a super generation gap. Yeah, but. You know, Tom and Bob watched him all night, and he never left this shack. Oh, yeah, well, what does that mean? He could have had one of his old friends do it for him. Maybe the Indian with the whip, maybe. Could have been any of those old-timers, man. For all we know, they may all be in on this. Wow, you really know how to ease the tension around here, don't you? Hey, somebody has to take an inventory or something. Oh, come on. Hey, some of the kids already left. Besides, who do we have to shoot this thing? Hey, where's John? Listen, that was his check. Oh, I didn't even think. Well, the last time I saw him, he was up walking around the hills looking like a lost dog. Kind of blamed himself. He was the one that gave her the acid. Yeah, I know. So, we'll forget about the, uh, in the, the rehearsal tonight and we'll take up positions around here and keep an eye out for whoever or whatever that thing is out there. Okay? Yeah, you're right. All right, we've all agreed then. We're going to stay out here all night until we catch this character. One man's been shot. An accident, maybe, I don't know. But he did cause a girl to die, and we're going to get him. Sandy, you stay up there. Blackie, you get in the wagon. You get it. You get in the Indian hut. And please, try to stay awake. Bob, you come with me. You guys all set? We're ready. Okay, you uh, you go up there by the saloon. You get up there on the hill. Joe, you go around there by the fence. You go with him. Make sure he doesn't go to sleep. Come on, me, Bob. Hey, Under the Tamal Moon. Now get down off that horse. Here, kiddies. They like the brace? Don't move. Just kind of stay still. 
Good old Johnny, huh? Hardy, go call the police. Tom, see if you can find a place where we can keep him. And Bob, see if you can tell the girls about it, huh? We've got to head this horse. That was it, man. Oh, there. Well, baby. Come here. Come here. Hello, man. It was you that made my baby trip out on an ass. What? Huh? Cut your throat. Hey, how'd you all get into that scuffle out there? I always hold that gun on him, man. I, I got too close. I, oh, grabbed it. Forgot it. Pow. Well, man, on the floor. On the on floor! The... You better stay there, because I owe you one, baby. All right, all right. Lord, what are you doing? What is happening now? We found him, our headless horseman. John? What the devil? And it wasn't me, it was that crazy old caretaker dude. He got my chicks ripped off on acid. He's going around killing all these people. He's running around on the hills at night, spooking people with his head off, man. And you know why? Because it's, cause it's gold here. Gold? Oh, oh, here? So full of it. It's gold, I'm telling you, I found it. John, he tells that all the time, man. It's been attracting a lot of tourists around here. Mark, I saw it. I found it. Hey, man. Uh, there were some... Um, Locations of some pretty rich uh, gold ore deposits in this area. That's because they used to salt this property and sell it to the people from back east that didn't know any better. Mark, I'm sharper than that. I'm telling you, it's real gold, man. I don't understand any of you. People have been hurt. People have been killed. And the police are on their way. And you're talking about gold. And gold. Gold. Oh, Mark, wouldn't it be great if we could find gold? And diamonds and emeralds and pearls. Oh, and then if we're rich, well, then the lawyers will be happy. No such luck, honey. Well, why not? If we find gold, then that proves the place is a success. Yeah, you'd think so, but I'm afraid the, the attorneys interpret it just a little bit different. It states in my uncle's will that this place must make a profit as a tourist attraction. 
There's nothing in it about mineral rights. Mm -hmm. Hey, how would you like to go to town with me tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Where to, Doc? The courthouse. About John? No. See about a license I need. Now, honey, I know this sounds morbid to you, but now that John's been arrested and we finally see an end to all this, this place is going to be front headlines. It's going to draw a whole flock of tourists. You know, the kind that want to see where the body was laid at and how the guy was killed, you know? I know. How awful. I know it's awful, but it's true. And that would mean that we've made it, honey. And then we can finally get that marriage license. Now, would I kid a nice kid like you? You ready, Hillicon? This is the first time the best man ever had to stand outside a church for a wedding. <laughs> Thank you, Reverend. Thank you. Mark and Brenda got back. Yeah, wait for a couple hours, man, when this place starts filling up with tourists watching flip. <laughs> we ought to tell them about that cookie old French lady that came back. The one that wanted us to do a show reenacting a murders affair? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, the, the valley, it is a paradise <laughs> of the macabre. Oh, we need you. <laughs> On second thought, maybe we ought not to tell them. Hey, where are them old married couple anyway? Well, Brenda's out back somewhere, and Mark's off talking to Randy. They want me to testify. Well, you had to expect that. Yeah, I know, but I can't testify against a buddy. I mean, John's a really weird dude and all that. But I've never known him to deliberately hurt anyone. I know, Randy, but they caught him in that horseman outfit. I did. But he says he found the horse wandering around in the hills. And you got to believe that, because, well, where else would John get a horse? John's got all sorts of connections, man. You know that. What about when he thought he found the gold here? He tried to buy the place from me. Oh, yeah? Oh, anyway, I just got to say I recognize the horse, but I can't say it was John. And you can't say that it wasn't. Look, Doc, what am I going to do? I don't want to be the one to hang him. Of course you don't, man, but there's only one thing you can do. You've got to answer all of their questions. You've got to. The thing that bothers me, the first night we saw the horse when Randy saw it, remember? Yeah, I remember. Well, Tom was better down with us that night, so it couldn't be him. That's right. And remember what John said about there being gold here? Yeah. Well, just suppose there really was gold on this property. And that would give someone a very good reason to do almost anything to get his hands on it, wouldn't it? Like publicity. Like Mark was saying the other day about all the curiosity seekers on the morbid types to be pouring into this place on weekends. And they have. You know, something's very wrong here. Yeah. You know, when all the others were found, they had blood spattered on them. When John was caught, there was no blood with him. But hang on, let's figure all the angles first. Then we'll check with Mark, all right? Yeah. Come on, Tom. Hi, Mark. Hi, Sandy. I just want to check with you. I'm going up in the canyon to check for rattlesnake. Okay, okay, good. Okay. Hey, let me take a look at that six shooter, man. No, it's loaded for snake, Mark. Loaded? Yeah, Hey, Mark, we want to talk to you. Yeah. The night Lydia was killed, you took off and left us in that old saloon. Where did you go? Well, I told you I went with the authorities into town. I called to talk to you. You were never there. Well, I didn't exactly go all the way into town with well, him. What about the night Randy saw the horseman? He was looking all over for you to tell you about it. You never did explain where you were at that time. Sounds like you're always saying that no, we just want to know, man. What about this business about the gold? You told us you grew up here. If there were any gold around here, you'd probably know about it. Gold here? Hey, who ever heard of gold in Southern California? The United States Assay Office. 85% of the gold deposits discovered here are still under the ground. The night Lydia was run over. There was a lot of excitement around here. People yelling, running around, looking for you, Mark. Thinking she might still be alive. Thinking you might be able to help. It was at least 15 minutes before you showed up. 
Now, where were you? Now, I told you. No, you didn't. Now, wait a minute. It sounds like you're trying to accuse me. Should we? No. Now, now, just cut it out, man, before I do get mad. You know, I don't have to put up with any of you bums around here. Oh. Is that what we are? Well, just stay out of my way, okay? Are we in your way, Mark? How are we in your way? Stop it. Stop what? Just cut it out and get out of here. Mark, all these people have been splattered with real blood. Now, who but a doctor would have access to so much blood? Now, give us some answers, Mark. Okay. Okay, yeah, there is gold around here. There's a lot of gold around here. I found it when I was a kid. And I've been waiting. Waiting a long time for that old man to die. Watching all those old cronies hanging around here. You know, some of them used to be prospectors. I was always waiting. Worrying whether they would find my gold before the old man kicked off. Oh, Mark. Three people are dead. Why? I had to have this place. I went through hell waiting for that old man to die. By killing people? I didn't mean to kill them. They were all just accidents, man. It happened that way. They were killed, Mark. They were killed. It wasn't supposed to happen that way. They were just accidents. I'm going for the police. No, stop! Hey! Why, <laughs> Sam, stop! I gotta get another gun. He killed my brother. I'm not going no blank.
will ride with the horsemen. And the curse will begin again. When next the Tamau moon rises, they will speak of this as a ghost town that is offered for sale. The curious will come to see where it all happened. And there is a buyer anxious to greet the paying customers. He will walk in the moonlight. It will begin again. It will begin again. It will begin again. It will begin again. It will begin 